What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I want to take this time out to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in to the videos. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I ask that you go ahead and do so. Make sure to toggle the notification bell to stay current with all of the videos that we're posting. My high school days were quite adventurous, and I have to give my hats off to all of the educators who go to school on a daily basis to make sure kids get their education, especially middle through high school, because those are the times where people are finding themselves. You have to be a special individual to deal with these people. You in the office. You'll wait for me there after the second bell so I can dismiss the rest of the class. Does anyone else want to try my authority? Because I am done playing with you idiots. I am here because I want to be here. I somewhat enjoy this job. You need something from me. I need nothing from you. You can go through life and live on the system, draw your paycheck on the first and the fifteenth from my taxes, and live just an absolute horrible life. I don't care. You can be another statistic. I don't care. That's on you. And if you think it's funny, I can take you down to the county office and we'll pull the numbers. And if you don't like my language, I don't give a Because you've said worse. And if you, again, Samaya, you believe too. Get out now. Get your shit get out. I'm not. Get out now. I you And if you don't like my language, I don't give a shit. Because you've said worse. And if you, again, Samaya, you believe too. Get out now. Get your Get out now. I need to get ask you questions. I told you to get the Man, that, es <laughs> that escalated quickly. Before I go any further, drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. I have to say, I have to say that um, I could not be an educator. I could not. And I want to apologize to all of the teachers that I gave a hard time in high school. I didn't realize what I was doing. I, I really didn't. I really didn't realize it. If you go back to think about your high school days, you probably didn't realize what you were doing either. But this was, this got lost it. Now, in essence, he was really speaking some, some real facts. He was really talking real to them children. And to me, from what I gather, he is in a, a low-income school. He is in a school where the children have problems. He's in a community where it's not really a full community. There's a lot of issues, and that's how I'm going to dress that up. But this guy lost it. And I must say, parents do not teach their kids respect anymore. They don't. Because it's, it's crazy because you can see a parent act the same way that a child would act in, in, uh, in the face of conflict. 
A lot of people don't know how to control themselves or compose themselves as adults. They act the same way as the children. So if the children are seeing that example, how do you think they're going to act? Now, I'm glad that the girl had the camera out, but at the same time, I don't know. Now, I wouldn't want this guy to talk to my kids like that. But that's why I teach my kids to act a certain way when you're at school. You respect them teachers. Them teachers got a lot going on. Them teachers have lives just as we do. And you don't go to school to give those teachers problems. Respect them teachers. Teachers are not paid enough as is. They do that job just like the guy said. I'm here because I want to be. To be a teacher, you have to love that. Because it's not a high-paying job, and you want to give back to the students. You want to give back to the people who's coming under you. You want to help make the world a better place. But it's hard to do that when you have children who are ultimately disrespectful and don't have no sense of respect for authority. I could not be a teacher in this day and age. I remember going to school. I remember that uh, we were probably in seventh grade. And one of my close friends got in a fight with a teacher. Yeah, he fought this teacher. He had no respect for this teacher. He fought this teacher. He swung on the teacher. And that teacher is there to try to help you, to help take you to another level of life. But I have to say... My friend didn't have a father in the house. He, 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 was, he had an attitude problem. He did what he wanted to do. He, he moved on his own terms. And eventually, as we got out of school, we graduated, he got killed. Now, I, I don't know what, where all that correlates with the teacher, but I do know he didn't have respect for authority. He did not. I, I, I do know that. And that's an issue. That's a problem. And it's lacking in today's generation. I probably sound like an old bitter man, but I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm really not. I just see the problems. And I see where... The younger generation have a lack of respect for the people who came before them. And it bothers me. That's how you get videos like this, where a teacher comes to school, wake up early in the morning to come try to pour into some students, and it's a spit in the face. But this problem don't just start in school, it starts at home. We have to teach our children to be respectful. Like, I don't know what all happened before this video. All I know is that we see this girl recording. She's really not acting out, but she does have her phone out. And a lot of times, you can't have your phone out in class. So, if you get down to the technical part of it, it's negligent. She was wrong. She shouldn't have had her phone out in class. But if something like this happened, yeah, she probably should take it out so she could have proof and evidence. But at the end, you saw her get very disrespectful. And that's how a lot of people lose their lives. Just because somebody is being disrespectful don't mean you have to be disrespectful. You need to learn to get away from the situation because that could change your life forever. I couldn't be a teacher. I couldn't. I give a shout out to every educator, every teacher, every mentor, every guidance counselor. I didn't like my guidance counselor. <laughs> I didn't like my guidance counselor at all because she didn't help me. She didn't guide me. Yeah, she didn't guide me now that I think about it. But uh, overall, man, I, I just I, I take my hat off to every educator, man, because y'all dealing with a lot. And it's not the most glamorous job to where you get paid. I think teachers deserve better pay because of all of the stuff that they have to deal with. But that's just me. That's my thought. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Drop it in the comment section.
Until the next time, peace.